Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create two different logos inside Microsoft Word, one being the Beam logo and second one is MasterCard. And as you can see here, the top logos are downloaded from the internet, the bottom mounts are created inside Microsoft Word. You can easily tell because those fonts don't really match. I haven't spent too much time looking for the right fonts, I just used the ones provided with Microsoft Word. That's because today we will be more interesting in those two overlapping circles. So let's start right away. Let's start with a blank document and the thing which comes to mind is to just insert the new shapes being the oval. But of course if we draw it with the shift key being pressed we will get a nice circle. I will set the outline to no outline and the fill to red color for the left one. Then I will just copy paste it one more time, move it to the right and set the fill color to be orange. This orange probably. Okay, so how do I get this overlapping part? One thing, one way how to do it is to just copy paste the left shape, move it to the top and to the very same position as the previous red shape. Then I will right click select format shape from the right click menu. And for the fill I will set the transparency, I will raise the transparency to some value, maybe like this. And as you can see immediately this shape becomes transparent, so we are mixing between the orange and the red color, so all the way to the right side when the transparency is 100% you will get the orange color. When it's on the left it's red and in something in between is getting some orange color. It's not probably the perfect orange color which is used inside the real MasterCard logo. We can easily quickly test it if I just insert the new shape, set the fill outline to an outline and the fill to the right color which is I believe this one. You can see that the color is just a little bit different. The, the, like the right color from the logo is more vivid, it's more saturated but overall uh, we are getting a nice looking shape which is very similar to the MasterCard logo. However that's only possible for the MasterCard. If I take a look at the Beam logo you can see that the in, in between part, the middle part is not a mix between the red and the cyan color. It's actually a very dark color and usually when you do it in other applications you will get this effect if you set the blending mode to multiply but we don't have any multiple, uh, sorry we don't have any blending modes inside Microsoft Word. So let's try to do it in a different way. I will probably delete this MasterCard logo and I will again insert a new shape being the circle. But before I actually copy it and paste it, I will set the fill to this cyan and outline to no outline. I will copy paste it, move it to the very same spot. And now I want not the circle but only part of the circle. So I will select this uh, drop down menu and select change shape and I will change the shape to this chord shape. I will set the different fill color like this one and then I want this shape to be only around the right side like this. The problem is I want this, this line to be straight so I will probably help myself with just another line which I will draw like this. And then for this shape I will zoom in a little bit and move those yellow handles to be as close as possible to the line to make sure that this, this left side is straight like this. Then I will delete this helper line. I will copy, I will select both shapes. So I will select selection pane, select both shape, copy and paste it. Immediately you can see that when I paste it, the second shape is also offset. So I will move it to the same spot as the first shape, select both. Then I will rotate both like this with the shift key being pressed. So it's snapping to 90 degrees. And then I will move it to the left side like this. I can help myself by setting the transparency to some value so you can see how those circles are being overlapped and that it's on the right position. So when I'm satisfied I will set the transparency back to zero. Then I will select both chords because I want those chords to be on top and the ovals to be on the bottom. Then I can change the color of one oval to be this red color. So I'll set the shape fill to be this red color. I believe it's this one. So that's how you do this in Microsoft Word. If you don't limit yourself to just Microsoft Word, but if you maybe have PowerPoint, which I believe you have, PowerPoint actually have much better tools when working with graphics. So if I select insert shapes oval, and if I replicate this oval one more time, I can use what's called the Boolean operation, which are on the left side here, it's called merge shapes. And I can select fragment, which will create three different shapes exactly how I want them. So if I do it like this, I can change the colors. I can even copy those shapes and paste those back inside Microsoft Word. And you can see it's a little bit 
I've said it, you know, Microsoft Word isn't very perfect when dealing with colors, uh, sorry, with dealing with shapes and positions. If I zoom in, you can see that the middle shape is moved to the bottom a little bit, so I'll move it back to the top like this. Then I will set the outline to be no outline. And of course the shape fill to be right color. You can see I have to probably move the right shape to the left and the left shape, left shape to the right, so there are no hairline gaps in between the shapes. So the only thing missing is of course setting the right colors for the shapes like this and the red one for the right shape and of course i can do the very same for the for the mastercard logo this time using the right colors so using the right orange color for the in between shape like this there is still actually another way how to draw such shapes inside microsoft word and that is using macros in one of my previous tutorials we were using macros to do, draw this shape for the adidas originals logo if I open the developer ribbon and the macro to draw the shape, if I run this macro, you see I will get I will get this shape. Hopefully I will get this shape. I don't get it right now. Okay, so this is the shape which we are getting, and we are we are getting like two different arcs from one circle. If I delete everything, just to see it better, we can set how uh, the span of this angle of the of this part inside the circle by setting the value arc span right now it's set to 80 we can of course set it to bigger value so we have a bigger bigger uh, span but we don't have to limit ourselves to go below 180 degrees if i set it to 180 degrees we will get the circle but if i actually set it to a bigger value than 180 degrees for example 250 what we will get is we will get like two different connected circles so what i can do is i can draw one shape for the value below the 180 so for example 120 which is uh, 180 minus 60 and the second shape will be 180 plus 60 which is of course uh, 240 so i have two different shapes if i just send this to back and change the color to a different one you will see it's matching perfectly i can definitely update the code or update the macro to not draw one shape but to draw two different shapes for this one but let's keep it to another tutorial and that's it that's all for today thanks for watching